It's hard to beat the convenience of making your travel arrangements online, but are you getting the best deal? The November issue of Shop Smart Magazine shows you how to avoid travel site gimmicks and gotchas that end up costing you more for your trip. Joining us now is Jody Rolina, senior editor for Shop Smart. Thanks so much for being here with Thank us. Thank you. Do you appreciate this? Is good information, yeah. especially right now. Um, and a lot of these I hadn't really heard of before. Like for example, fair jumping. What is that? Yeah, fair jumping is when you see a really good deal. Maybe you read about it in one of those newsletters or yeah. something, and you go to click through to get the deal, and poof, it's gone. That's happened before. You go on some of those bargain sites, and you get all the way to the end, and they say your fare is no longer available. Yeah, is there yeah, you it's do about really that? frustrating. Well, here's what you have to do: you've got to act really quickly if you do see a good deal, and you kind of want to research the marketplace ahead of time so that you'll recognize that good deal when you see it. Well, are there added fees that are tacked on that maybe we don't know about? Oh, very often there are added fees, and there are more coming all the time. You know, with baggage, even to book on on the phone, sometimes mm -hmm. you're being charged, or even some airlines are charging you when when you book online. So you want to know what those fees are ahead of time. You'll really, really want to take a good look at the website, see what the fees are so you know what the total price is going to be. And a lot of times when you're shopping online and you book your flight, they'll say, do you want to add a car or a hotel? You know, package the deal, yeah. if you will. Are those really a bargain? Well, you know, they can be, but they can also not be a good deal. So you don't want to automatically assume it is. If okay. you're looking at several things, a flight, a hotel, a rental car, Price out the components so that you recognize a good deal when you see one. Check a website called DealBase. It'll do the math for you and point out some good and bad deals. So there's a shortcut there. DealBase.com? DealBase.com. All right, I love that. Well, you know, some people might think, okay, look, it's a package deal and it says right there it's price guarantee. So if I find something cheaper or a better deal, I'm going to get a bit of a refund. Is that always the case? Well, you know, it can be the case, but again, there's a lot of fine print on those websites mm -hmm. and, and sometimes they may, you know, disqualify you for that refund you may be counting on. So again, it's better to really know up front that you're getting the good deal so you don't have to go through that on the back end. Right, because the last thing you want to do is to have to argue for something that you were told up front that you were going to get, yeah. but you didn't read the fine yeah. print. Yeah, and then you may not be satisfied. So, you know, we want everyone to get the best deal they possibly can. Right. What is this thing that's called dynamic pricing? What dynamic is that? pricing, you know, it's this thing that goes on when you're searching, you know, once or more times for, for something, mm -hmm. the price might be a lot different. And you think, well, maybe something is sold out, but it really seems to relate sometimes to the cookies on your browser. We recommend either deleting those cookies or sometimes you might want to search two different browsers simultaneously. So Make the cookies, sure you're the good deal. Tell, I guess, tell the website that she has searched this so many times they before? They leave a trail. Okay. And so it seems like there's something going on with that computer search engine that is, is really reacting to that sometimes boosting up the price by we saw as much as seven hundred dollars on a flight so it can make a really big difference yeah yeah so try and trick the system you know look at a couple different browsers at one time is a really easy shortcut to do that or just or disable, or disable cookies. your cookies um, and yeah. hidden bargains are they out there is this a good thing or is it one of those situations where it's just too good to be true well you know usually they are out there but the, the sites don't always make them easy to find okay. some of the sites are not all that easy to sort by price if that's really what you're looking for you know you don't have a favorite rental car company you just want to get the best deal right. you know try and find the best way to sort but if it looks like you know gee where's Alamo where's budget I'm not seeing everything I think might be out there mm -hmm. you might have to do some searching on the company's websites themselves or you might have to do a whole lot of clicking around to make sure you've seen all your choices and that's the only way to know you're getting the best deal. Yeah, so bottom line, you real you really are going to have to do all the legwork. It's a lot of legwork. Yeah. yeah, but you know, time is money, but money's money too and especially if you're traveling with mm -hmm. more than one person, you know, those those differences in the fares can really add up. So, spend a little bit of time, make sure you're saving the money. That is smart advice. Thank you so much. We do appreciate your Thank time. Thank you.